Hey everyone and welcome back to another cook with me video where I am going to demonstrate how I make this chicken pasta from the food stock meal um, as previously mentioned I think a couple okay. of videos back that um, these were designed for uh, low income uh, families or communities where um, you know uh, you can also like make a business out of these like you buy a pack um, full of them like a starter pack let me say and I don't know how much it is inside uh, or how many packs you get inside but it's a starter pack and then you can start selling these to um, uh, communities with this low income and uh, my mother-in-law always comes back with these things from her job I don't know whether someone there sells them or they just buy them I don't know but um, she comes back with these and we make them I've made a couple of them and this was the first day that I wasn't going to make uh, this meal which is a chicken pasta and as mentioned at the back of the package it does help to add more ingredients than what's inside and add other things also just to enhance the flavor and also to increase the, the meal because it does say it's only for four people and that is definitely true it's exactly for four people and um, six to eight kids depending how big are those kids as well so I'm just boiling water uh, before I transfer them into this bigger pot I'm just boiling it there because we like to save energy in this house we don't use electricity all the time so we like to use the gas stove so one of the ingredients that I'm going to be adding but I'm going to be frying this on the side is an onion an onion enhances a lot of meals i love cooking with this ingredient <laughs> which is why um i'm going to add only this because on this day on that day i didn't have any meat in the house and so i decided that just to add um an onion on the side instead just to enhance the flavor because as i've mentioned it was the first time that um i was cooking this meal uh in particular but on my other meal i think i did a biryani rice i'm not sure now a couple of uh, videos back i did a biryani rice and yeah today i'm making pasta and the water just boiled i transferred it and now it's time for me to pour in the packet Oh, shit, but you. Hmm? Yeah. I didn't know there were lentils here. What are you doing? No, I found one. What's wrong with you? It's a super star. It's a super star. It's a super star.
so I like to add um, stock cubes to the dishes um, and the reason for that is just again to enhance the flavor because most of the food sock meals the packages they add um, they add a lot of herbs it comes with herbs and not so much as spices and so I like to add those cubes to enhance and bring out the flavor and I'm also going to use this uh, tomato brown brown onion sorry brown onion gravy just to thicken to thicken it up and also to enhance the flavor and as I've mentioned it comes with a lot of herbs inside which I like however if you want it to have a flavor you need to add your own spices most of the time um, and for me stock cubes always <laughs> Uh, enhances flavors and also adding an, an onion it does enhance the flavor so that's what I did here I'm gonna add one and a half here and also when I make the onion I will be adding a stock cube I just use chicken stock cubes mm -hmm. since it was a chicken pasta meal Now I am just sauteing uh, the onion on the side. I don't add it inside the, the, the meal, the pasta meal. I just like to saute it on the side and then add my stock cube, chicken stock cube, pepper, and um, also I added here a garam masala spice and i don't when i cook with a stock cube especially i don't like to add um salt uh, and especially when i cook with a beef stock cube or the really strong stock cubes this one was um chicken stock cube however because i also eat it, it on the meal i didn't add um salt on my onion because this is something that i've learned from my mother a long time ago <laughs> when i was cooking i used to use stock cubes and spices and then also still add salt and that made food really really salty and she used to shout at me for that <laughs> for the longest time but i've learned over the years that really adding more salt after you added stock cube it does um, make things really, really um, salty. So here I was just showing that I drained the water from the pasta and sometimes I like to use a little bit of that water um, on the side dishes or side, um, side veggies that I make on the side. And sometimes I also keep that water for when I'm making like your normal pasta meals or even for rice meals as well. I keep that water because it's water that has uh, herbs and stuff, so it's flavored water. Um, so I kept that on the side so that I can use it here. And when my uh, onion is ready, I'm just gonna transfer the pasta into the into the, the plate, uh, the pot, the other pot on the side.
Just put it in the, put it in my room. Put it, put it in our room. I'm done, by the way. Can I have the computer, please? I'm Sarah, you need to, Sarah, you know, turn, where is the drawing? Because there are things that are short here. What short? Where is the drawing? Where is your design? Yeah, let's check your design. Because my design was like that, but then just needed something on top. Yes, but now there are things we threw. Like what? There are things we threw there that I we need to stick on. Work. Ne? I have something that we can stick on. Like and, and tomorrow we need to paint it. Ne? You have the paint. You have to paint it tomorrow in certain colors that you like. Yeah, my thing is going to be black. Yo. Yeah. Everything will be black. Sana, you must have color. In the future, they have color. Okay. No, my screen will okay, be black. Yes, and yes. LED lights will be like, you know, fake LED lights. It will be purple and blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, just make more fantastic. Okay, madam. Sarah, careful with that, isn't it? Done. It's finished, and as I said, I didn't have any chicken or any type of meal, uh, meat on the side. But my daughter did request me to use um, her lunch sausages just to cut them up and um, uh, add it on her, um, on top of her pasta. And that's what I did. And it looked like this. And she enjoyed it so, so much. It was really, really delicious, guys. You can also add cream as it suggests at the back of the package. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little cooking uh, session and see you in another one. Bye.